Hello and good morning. Topic number seven is antenna bandwidth. The bandwidth is a range of frequencies, very similar definition in case of antennas. But the range of frequencies within which performance of an antenna with respect to some characteristics comply to a specific standard is called as bandwidth of an antenna. There are various parameters we have learned till now such as impedance, polarization, side lobes, gain, beam, beam direction or beam area, uh, radiation efficiency. All these parameters when they are within some acceptable level in the range of uh, frequencies that is a lower frequency FL from the center frequency F0 and a higher frequency FH from the center frequency then it is called as antenna bandwidth. So based on the bandwidth antenna is categorized as broadband antenna and narrowband antennas. In broadband antennas, the bandwidth is usually defined as the ratio of upper to lower frequency of acceptable operation. For example, when we say 10 is to 1, then the lower frequency is 10 times greater than the lower frequency. For narrowband antennas, the bandwidth is defined in terms of percentage. So we can say 5% bandwidth indicates that the frequency difference acceptable operation is 5% from the central frequency. So as such, in case of antennas, uh, there is no unique characteristics of antenna bandwidth. This is because antenna characteristics varies uh, from frequency variations. As we know, all the distributed circuit theory components are frequency dependent and their operations are specifically limited to a particular frequency range. We have seen this in case of rectangular waveguides, magic T's, E plane T's, H plane T's. Those are for specific range of frequencies. So that's why in the laboratory we have X band components and S band components. Very similar to that an antenna operating for a specific range of frequencies is called as its bandwidth. The pattern bandwidth is a new term defined for antennas where some of the parameters of pattern, uh, pattern such as gain, side lobe, beam width and polarization satisfies the range of values within the given frequency values. The impedance bandwidth includes impedance, input impedance and radiation efficiency. Thus we have pattern bandwidth and impedance bandwidth. So this is about antenna bandwidth. In the next topic we will discuss antenna radiation efficiency. This particular term radiation efficiency is different than the beam efficiency that we have already learned. Thank you.